Hello my friends and welcome again. Today we are going to talk about micropropagation. We already talked about propagation by seeds, propagation by macropropagation using the suckers of the plant. Today we are going to focus on the micropropagation which is carried out under controlled conditions in the lab. Micropropagation is an artificial way to propagate many plants uh, by using tissue culture techniques. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Are you ready? By the way, I'm using a protocol by a researcher in France. You can find all the information, the steps, the recipe for the media in the information box. Okay, without further words, let's go to work. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the greenhouse, go to the field and find some interesting and healthy plants. Tissue culture is initiated from shoot tips taken from banana plants or banana sausages. For that, the first step is, as usual, to uproot the plant. So we have to remove again all the soil from the plants. This is a very dirty step, so don't worry, you don't need to keep everything clean here. We are going to perform several steps to sterilize this material. For now, the only thing we need to do is to reduce the size of these suckers, something like this. We can additionally remove some of the leaf sheets, these layers, to bring to the lab just small material. knife to remove the layers and try to bring material as clean as possible but don't worry if the material is still full of soil of course in these conditions it's very difficult to clean or to keep everything clean so this is perfect we repeat that step with every plant you want to introduce. Just go straight here. In this step, it's important that you don't cut too much. Especially when you have to work with many, it's better to cut in this specific size, 10 centimeters more or less. Once we are in the lab, we are going to perform the first step of cleaning and for that we use bleach 1 to 3% and we just dip them there after a few minutes the only thing we need to do is to continue cutting and we are going to reduce the size of the explants of these suckers to 2 or 3 centimeters in length and 2 centimeters in diameter in this part, in this uh, intermediate area, you can find the, sh the tips, the shot tips, the meristem, let's say. So be careful. We just cut like this. As I mentioned before, we are going to make kind of rectangular pieces of four centimeters for two. and cut it too small and then you just put them back in the bleach and just repeat the procedure with every explant. Let's do it here. That's it. And repeat. Once we have pieces like this, we are ready to go to the sterile area. For that, we already prepared the media and you can find all the information in the information box. We use ethanol to clean our material, but also to clean the explants in, in a step that you will see later.
I use these uh, plates to cut. You can use wherever you want. And just make sure that it's clean. And then this is a very tedious work. You have to be very patient and just cut little by little. Start by the sides. And when you have a piece of more or less two centimeters for two centimeters, then you have to do something very interesting. And that is to flame the explant. And actually we are going to do this two times. So here is the first time we flame it. Make sure that it's flaming because you cannot see it, but you can feel it. And then we just continue cutting again. We are going to one centimeter now. Always around, around, and be careful to don't cut the middle part. And here we go to the second round and we flame. Again, make sure that it's uh, on fire. Be careful, by the way, in this step. And then just continue cutting. patient and then we are going to cut more from both sides from top and from the bottom more or less five millimeters in the bottom from the border between the corn and the cell the stem that's the way the place the place sorry that's the place where you will find the nary stem and this is another interesting step. Here we split this in two. So you will have two uh, starting tissue culture. We place it in the media, press a little bit, and that's it. Same with the second part. Pin. That's it. Make sure that the merge stem is in contact with the media. This is proliferation media and they will be here for around 45 days. After this you can put them in the dark and keep them there. After the 45 days you have to transfer these explants to rooting media and after an additional month you will see something like this. Many plants that are coming from this of Mary Stem. And from here you can continue propagating as many plants as you want. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new. If you like the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye bye!